You are blessed. Worship team, God bless you so much. Tutarudi tu hapa. Inaini tu mketi. Tutarudi. Let's appreciate our worship team. Let's appreciate our Only in Blessed Hope Center. Only in Blessed Hope. Wachungaji wale tuko hapa, we can take a note. Sindio? Tukiridi nyumbani, kwa makanisa zetu, tuambi worship team, uniform, lazima. Uniform. <laughs> eh, we are serving God of excellence. Kwa hivyo kama natubariki na excellence, ata sisi tufanya nini? Tumtumikia na excellence. So we have a lot to learn here. Sini baraka sana. Wajifundisha mabumingi hapa na pale. Yote tutaweza katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Kuna wapendo, leo nina tuna anointing ya kimasai. Tumumbisho wimba kimasai hapa. Kuna wapendo wa kutoka huko. Uh, ndugu wa pasta Ole. Ole Mwiko. Iyo jina kidogo intatize. Ole Mwiko. Tutaonana baada hii. Iyo jina uniambie vili mefika hapo. <laughs> Ole Mwiko. God bless you. Mtumishu wa mungu. Karibu sana. Karibu sana. God bless you. Yuko wapi. Mama anda likuwa na imba. Mama karibu. God bless you. And let's appreciate our reverend. Please let's appreciate our visionary Amefika. Amen. God bless you. Alikuwa tuhuku. Aha. Papa tuko sawa. Daka moja tu. Anasema daka moja tu. You're very smart. Karibia hapa ndo tukukwe kwa tunene kwa sinema pale. Hallelujah. God bless you. Bas. Apo. We, we are doing it live on EBN TV. So unanekana ngambo mzima, dunia mzima. Wanaweza tupigia simu waseme wanataka hii nguo. <laughs> Tasema asante. Uh, Tungetaftiwa mic yake ya tusalimie kwanza. Ingekua mzuri sana. Tafadhali lipatue mikro. Awacha tumie tu hii. Please. Just allow her to use this. Oh. Utusalimie kabla mashini kwa. Wimbo gani? Nimbo namba? Namba? Three. Bas. Hivi ni tatu. Kwa kikuyu hivi ni tano. <laughs> Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Tusalimiane kwa heani. Kwa majina naitu wa Jacqueline. Saitoti. Saitoti ni mume wangu Reverend. <laughs> Ninaishima mahali hapa. Na natuwa ishima yangu kwa bishop yetu Reverend Felix Kavoy. Mungu wa kubariki. E, tumekuja jana, tumefika jana. Tunashukuru mungu. Mi ni muimbaji. Na mi ni muke wa pasta, inashukuru ni kuwa mahali hapa. Ninaanta kuimbia wimbo inasema jina la yesu, eh, ambaye mutu mwema aki, aki muita, aki mukimbilia, atapata amani. Amen? Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo niweke hizo wimbo, ni imben, kuna watimu ni metoka nae kutoka eh, kajado. Naomba tuwa kuja hapa, tuimbe. Kuna mashosha kwa pale, wazea kwa hapa. Tafadhali, team imetoka Hakuje tu Imetoka kajiado Na hata na nyinyi, mtumu najua kimasai Apana, wacha wakai, nyinyi okay. ndi mutaimba Ok, sawa Awa watawiza ribu <laughs> Niliona mkimba Awa ah, wewe, awa wachana nao, wacha wakai Hii enyi ni special Ye, yeah. oh. wanaza ima sauti yapa hizi eleweki Ye, yeah. salama baba yangu God bless you God bless you Don't they look smart? Ah, God bless you Hii wimbo lazima ikuje. Kuja. Mama kuja, mama kuja karibu hivi na mimi kuja huku tu. God bless you. Wow, wow, wow. Let's appreciate the more. Nona msifu bwana. Hii ah. Hiyo muziki inakuja tu sahihi sahihi. Ngoja tu hizo vitu zimejengwa na binadamu. So hii zinasumbua kidogo lakini lazima itafika. Bwana bariki sana. Salama sana. Nasikia muna salimi, mimi nise, wekele, sumujo mimi mdogo. Oh, mimi mkubwa? Ay, mimi mdogo. Mimi mdogo sana. Si mimi mdogo wako? Wekele ya mkono. Hey. Mimi mdogo. Si lazimi kwe ni mtoto, sindio? Mbona mtu wakona umri kuniliko. Mbona wabariki sana. Wacha yu mziki kikuja, tuta, 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 tuta imba. Tuko, tunonekana dunia mzima. Wanaese, inaitua EBN TV Live. So kuna watu natuona kwa kitu inaitua Facebook. Sao papa, do yo.
wewe sasa hapa ndio pale tunasimama hapa ndio tunasimama sasa Ngoja ngoja kidogo ngoja kidogo let's appreciate them let's appreciate them mama karibu hii tuna hii inaitwa selfie tunapiga selfie songa kidogo mama tumuone ah ah ule chocho aonekani tuone sisi wote haya hapo sasa ona hii inaitwa selfie hapo ya mwisho hapa ah tucheke kidogo sawa oh hapo wapi makofi yao god bless you Asante baba yangu. Kuna siku nitakutafuta. Nitasema la tulipiga picha nao, si ndio? Mungu atawainua zaidi. In fact they are not upcoming. God has lifted them up. Bwana sio sana. So siku ile mtawatafuta mimi ndio kwa nisa piga picha nao. <laughs> Nani baraka? Are we blessed? Amen. Nani baraka sana? We are blessed. Please appreciate your neighbor mwambie I'm blessed. Eh uh, usiketi chini as we are upstanding. I want us to honor the man of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana umetupatia kibali we are finishing up tomorrow lakini better and bigger better and sasa hivi wangapi wanaweza shuhudia kwamba sasa hivi Mungu ametuinua na ametubariki yeah. tangu tuanze kuna kitu Mungu ametenda mm. unaweza shuhudia ni masaa tu hakuna lakini unaweza shuhudia ile Bwana ametenda mm. something has changed mm. how many can agree something has changed yes. amen mimi kitu imenibadilikia hapa ninaweza shuhudia ile Bwana ametenda yeah. so please let us join hands as we welcome and our rev a Felix Cavoy to take us to that level in Jesus name. Thank you sir. God bless you. Let's give the Lord praise this morning. Let's let's be happy in the house of God. This is a mountain of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God is working on us. Hallelujah. God is speaking to us. God is ministering to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you say surely it was worth it all coming to this conference? Amen. You say it was worth it all coming to this conference. We give God all the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I know we had some interruptions of power this morning so, I know the program is running a little bit late but all things work together for God God is working it out for all of us at the end of the day the purpose of God will be accomplished in our lives we did not come here in vain we came here for a divine appointment the Lord will release it upon our lives so touch your neighbor till your neighbor be strong be happy take in everything the Lord is releasing to you amen and there's something I know that devil is going to have trouble I, I, I wish I, I wish somebody I wish somebody can get that revelation. I say the devil is going to have trouble. Especially with people coming from the International Faith Summit. Because the people coming from the International Faith Summit. You cannot compromise them. You cannot buy them. You cannot trick them. They are too educated in the things of God. They cannot buy water. Water. They can buy oil. They can buy a handkerchief. The people from this conference. They cannot play games. You cannot give them false prophecies. They know too much way to be misled by anybody. Somebody say hallelujah. And that is what God is making. I say that is what God is making. I say that is what God God is doing in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is here. Bwana kwa. The Lord is here. Bwana kwa. We are blessed to have Bishop Rekiza all the way from 
Tanzania. Bishop Rikiza was the first speaker to arrive. And he spoke here on Sunday. And is a man that is doing a great work. As I'm speaking, please, Bishop, begin to come. Amen. And, and is doing a great work in Tanzania. And because we, we, let's remain standing this way and appear good because I know this is live on television. And, and he's speaking to us this morning. And I wanted us to strike a small conversation here before he preaches. This man is about the village just preaching in the villages if you go to his facebook page okay. Okay. Facebook page yake. it is called just keep it where it was it was just good the voice was just good it is called injili vijijini it, and was injili vijijini where did you get this vision from man of god when i was in uh, college when i was in the college in the second year taking electrical engineering is when we you were, are an electrical engineer yes wow when i was taking electrical engineer we, okay we can be seated for those who are feeling tired yes we did an uh, outreach in the villages so from then the burden came into my heart came into your heart yes it was so how, how are you approaching it because i see you posting every time you're out there in the vijiji how are you doing it Lila, I'm using my own fare and my own means means to go there. So I've been I started 1989. Yeah. So when I was there, mm -hmm. sometimes uh, I fell to to come back because of the fare. Mm -hmm. But God helped me sometime uh, work on on my oh, own. Oh, you went there with only one one way fare. One way so fair, you, there was no so to come back uh, yeah waiting for the lord for the miracles <laughs> <laughs> so how is the experience out there Be because all, a lot of these pastors and uh, uh, delegates that are in this first session they the, some of them also have this uh, village experience and so how, how uh, what is your experience out there actually it's not uh, anything which can uh, attract you to go there nothing at all wow. but uh the love of christ is only will attract you to go there because uh there is nothing nothing to attract. nothing to attract you the environment the the food you are eating the house you are sleeping nothing to attract you mm -hmm. but only the burden of christ and wow. the love of christ wow okay Wow, I, I, I think we need to learn a lot from him. And uh, Bishop Rekiza, we encourage you. Come on, let's clap and encourage <inaudible> you. We encourage you to continue. <inaudible> and I know somebody has seen you and noticed you. We need to begin, especially people that are born again. You know there is nothing of this world we will take to heaven. We can have cars. We can have ten houses. We can have everything but nothing of this world will carry to heaven so when you have the ability and I'm encouraging the church let's begin to pull resources together and when you see a man with a vision like this one you begin to encourage him and to support and the work of God is going to uh, be uh, to, 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 to be done Christ is not returning until we complete the work yes. so tell your neighbor help us to complete the work tell your neighbor help us to complete the work I know usually for those who are watching on television we usually have the program that is known as your faith today and I believe wherever you are your faith today is being impacted by the word of God with, with great joy let's put 
hands together and we Pop see Bishop uh, Ray Kiza, Bonface Ray Kiza, to the word. Bonface Ray Kiza, a letter right. name. But for this one of time, Ashkuru Moko Wakati Hu, it is a a miracle for me to stand here. It is not been his uh, for me to stand here. But because God is working with a uh, weak to show himself that he is strong. And allowed me to be here this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maybe I will not take, I will not get another chance to stand before here. Let me take this this chance to thank the man of God. Reverend Kavoy. Kasisi Kavoy and his wife Annie. I remember the first day I came here. I was spiritually strong but financially and materials very weak kiroho nilikuwa na nguvu lakini kwa hali na mali nilikuwa mnyonge kabisa i came on as a, de a delegate nilikuja tu kama mudhuru wa mkutano to learn from others kujifunza kutoka kwa wengine we are sitting somewhere in the summit tulikuwa tumeketi mahali kwa kongamano but at the end of the summit kile mwisho wa kongamano cha kushangaza the, the the funny thing cha kushangaza the thing that bewildered me the reverend come, came to me kasisi akaja kwangu and they asked me to to remain back here akaniomba nibakie and the minister to the big church like this anihudumia kanisa kubwa namna hii actually it confused me ili nichanganya because i saw myself that i'm not worth man lijona kwamba si stahili but by the grace of god lakini kwa neema ya mungu i did nikafanya and that was the first connection with the man of god na ndio ilikuwa uunganisho wa kwanza na mtumishi wa mungu hallelujah 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 I honor you man of God. Na kuheshimu mtu wa Mungu. I honor you man of God. Na kuheshimu mtu wa Mungu. Kwa sababu muangalie mtu vile alivyo. You don't look at a person the, in the appearance. Unaweza ukamwona Mungu ndani ya mtu aliye dhaifu. You can see God in somebody who is weak. Ni wachache sana wenye macho ya namna hiyo. It's a few people who will have that insight. Wengi wanaangalia nje. Men will look at out our, our appearance. Wanamwangalia mtu anavyoonekana. This is look the, the way the person appears kama matokeo wanawadharau wala ambao Mungu anawaheshimu and people will, will despise those god honors inakumbuka siku moja i remember one day ikuwa tu mwinjilisti kwenye kanisa la EGT Tanzania uh, i was an evangelist with EGT Tanzania katika msiba mkubwa wa Moses Kulola in the uh, late archbishop of EGT at the death of um, Moses Kulola the founder of EGT kulikuwa na sehemu ambayo wanawekewa viti wachungaji kukaa there's a place that was designated for pastors na kwa sababu mimi sikuwa mchungaji because i was not a pastor sikutaka kwenda kukaa pale i did not want to go and sit there lakini mimi pamoja na umaskini wangu ninavaa vizuri. <laughs> but together with my poverty I was dressed well. Maana mimi naamini umaskini umaridadi uficha umaskini. Because I believe neatness conceals poverty. Sasa tulikuwa tumesimama na mchungaji mmoja ambaye hajavaa vizuri kwa sababu anaanza huduma. We were standing with the pastor who was just beginning ministry and he was not well dressed. Sasa yule anayepanga watu akanichukua mimi akanikalisha viti vya wachungaji. The one was uh, play, uh, arranging how people would sit took me and set me in the place of pastors. Na na kamwacha yule ambaye sasa ni mchungaji mimi nikamvuta nikaenda naye kukaa naye. And left the pastor but I, I drew the pastor with me to, to the to the seat. Kilicho ni umiza what hurt me yule mtu aliye nipanga mimi pale nikamchukua na yule mchungaji the one who brought me to sit there and i pulled the pastor along with me 
alikuja akamshika hapa shati yule mchungaji came and held him by the, uh, at the back of the neck akamsukuma kama polisi wa Kenya anavyosukuma mwizi and he pushed like a police officer in Kenya they, the way they push people akamuondoa and pulled him out ile kijana aliondoka akasimama pembeni the young man stood uh, on, on the periphery Mimi kamfuata yule mtumishi wa Mungu nikamwambia huyu ni mchungaji. I went back to the man, to the man of God and said this is a pastor. Akasema no the pastor cannot look like this. Kasema mchungaji hawezi kuonekana namna hii. Again in iskirize. I, I want you to listen to me. Yule kijana alikuwa ameokoka kutoka kwenye background ya Uislam. He, the, the boy the young man had given his life to Christ coming from a, an Islamic background na alipookoka alikuwa juu kusoma wala kuandika. When he gave his life to the Lord, he did not know how to read and write. Lakini Mungu alimheshimu. But God honored him. Akamfundisha kusoma. He taught him to read. Alikuwa juu kusoma kingine zaidi ya Biblia na kuhubiri nayo. He did not know to read anything else except the Bible and preaching with it. Alikuwa na kanisa lina watu nane. He had a church of eight people na wakiongezeka wakifika 10 wanarudi wa 5. When they get to 10 they drop back to 5. Lakini ungekuona ijua Dar es Salaam. But if you knew Dar es Salaam kutoka Manzese from Manzese paka airport Gongo la Mboto to, to the airport. Alikuwa anatembea kwa mguu kwenda kuhudumia watu wale wa nane. He used to walk on foot to minister to those eight people. Hakuwa na pesa. He did not have money. Hakuwa na pesa. He did not have money. Lakini but alikuwa mwaminifu he was faithful siku moja aliumwa one day he, he got ill akazidiwa akafa and and by that he died baada ya kufa anasema alichukuliwa mpaka mbinguni after dying he says he was taken to heaven ilikuwa asubuhi saa mbili it was in, eight in the morning alikuja kurudi jioni saa 12 mke wake akiwa na msibu anarudi he got his consciousness six in the evening when his wife was pleading with god to bring him back to life again he kwa ananishuhudia anasema but he used he testified to me and said wakati mungu anamrudisha when god brought him back alimwambia ninakurudisha kwenye ile huduma i he said i'm taking you back to that ministry anasema nikamuuliza huduma ya watu watano nane i asked him a mix of 8 5 people akasema ndio he said yes kamuuliza kwa nini i asked him why akasema kwa sababu kwanza unaifanya kwa uaminifu he said because first you do it with faithfulness unaifanya kwa mzigo you have a burden for it haujali unachokosa unajali kazi yangu iendelee you don't care what you miss you care that my work continues kwa hiyo mbingu imemrudisha ili afanye kazi dunia wa mtambui so heaven brought him back that may serve kanisa tunahitaji macho ya kiroho tuone vile mungu anatazama church we need to see in the eye of the spirit hallelujah Hallelujah. Ndio maana huyu mtumishi wa Mungu, this servant of God, watu wengi wao wanasema mtu akishaondoka. Many people speak when one has, one has slept. Lakini Biblia inasema, but the Bible says, lazima mara nyingine tutiane moyo. We must encourage one another. You are doing a great work. Unafanya kazi kuu. You are doing a great work. Unafanya kazi kuu. And you are very humble. Na wewe ni mnyenyekevu. Na kwa sababu ya unyenyekevu huo, because of that humility, you will go far. Utaenda mbali. Hii ni nusu tu. It's just half. Kuna mahali unakwenda. Is a place you going. Ile unanyenyekea. The way you about yourself. Unaweza ukamuinua mhubiri wa kijijini. You can raise a preacher from Leo yuko madhabahu hii. To, to, today is on this altar. Ninahubiri dunia. I'm preaching to the world. Mungu atakubariki. God will bless you. Nami ninasema tena. And I say again. Ubarikiwe mpaka ushangae. The Lord bless you greatly. Hallelujah. 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 Now let us go the word of god tuende kwa neno la mungu wakorinto wa pili sura ya 5 second corinthians chapter number 5 korinto wa pili sura ya 5 second corinthians chapter number 5 omba weke maandiko hayo kwa kiingereza ili watu wafate i i request that you put it in english that people will be able to follow itatumia maneno mengi ya Kiingereza na Kiswahili pia. I use many words or mix Swahili and English. 
kwa sababu kuna terminology zina sound vizuri kwa Kiingereza. There are terminologies that will feel sound good in English. Na kuna terminology zina sound vizuri kwa Kiswahili. And there are other terminologies that will sound good in Swahili. Na uzuri wa wa Kenya. And the goodness with Kenyans. Na poongea Kiswahili mnaweka Kiingereza. When I speak Swahili you, you put you translate to English? Ah uh, na ukiongea Kiswahili unaweka Kiingereza unaweka na Kiswahili. You speak English they translate to Swahili. So kuna maneno nitataka tutayasikia tena kwa Kiswahili. There are words I would want us to hear them in Swahili. So I'm reading from 2 Corinthians. Somo wa Korintho wa pili chapter 5 lango wa 5 17 to 21. 17 mpaka 21 I'm reading from King James version So my tafsiri ya King James Therefore if any man be in Christ he is a new creature all things are passed away be old all things become new and all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ Take that point he has reconciled as to himself by Jesus Christ. Zingatia hiyo kwamba ametupatanisha na yeye kupitia kwa Kristo. He has given us he has given to us the ministry of reconciliation to it that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself not imputing their trespasses unto them and as committed unto us the word of reconciliation now then we then we who are in Christ we are ambassadors of, for Christ we are ambassadors for Christ this is the message of today as though god did beseech by us we pray you in Christ's stead be ye reconciled to God for he has made him to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might be the righteousness of God in him amen pray the lord bwana sifiwa hallelujah hallelujah naomba unisikilize I urge you, you listen to me as we allow this morning. Ilisema tangu siku ya kwanza ninasimama I said from the first day I stood here ya kwamba changamoto zako ulizonazo that the challenges you have ni za muda they are only for, for a short time lakini ndani ya muda mfupi ama mrefu but in the short or long time unaweza ukashindwa na changamoto na ukapoteza ulicho nacho ambacho Mungu alikuandalia ngambo ya kifo you may be beaten down by the challenges and you lose that which God has given you kwa hiyo ziko njia mbalimbali ambazo unaweza ukatumia kutoka kwenye changamoto. There are different ways you can use to get out of your challenges. Sitaki kurudi kwa zile mbili ambazo nimeshasema. I don't want to go back to the two that I said. Lakini zile njia zitakutumia zitakusaidia pia kutoka kwenye changamoto. But those ways will help you come out of your challenge. Lakini leo njia ambayo itakusaidia kutoka kwenye changamoto yako but today the way that will help you come out of your challenge ni wewe kuishi kwa imani kama balozi is you living by faith as an ambassador kuishi kwa imani kama balozi living by faith as an ambassador nisikilize asubuhi ya leo listen to me this morning ninataka niongee pole pole ili tuelewane on to speak slowly that we may understand each other na ikifika mahali hali imebadilika nikaongea sio polepole and if it happens that i don't speak slowly utanisamehe kwa sababu mara nyingine roho mtakatifu ana intervene you will forgive me because sometimes the holy ghost will take will take over aomba unisikilize i urge that you listen to me balozi ni mtu ambaye an ambassador is one yuko nchi nyingine which in another country is a foreigner to another country ako kwenye inji ya ugeni but he also a slave is a, a foreigner in the other country yeye ni mgeni katika hiyo inji nyingine 
Yaani mtumwa katika nchi nyingine. So mtumwa yuko nchi nyingine anaitwa mgeni. A slave is another in another country is called a foreigner. Na balozi yuko nchi nyingine anaitwa balozi. And an ambassador in another country is called an ambassador. Kwa hiyo ni watu wawili wako nchi ya ugenini lakini kuna mtumwa na kuna balozi. Two people in a foreign country, one is a slave, another is an ambassador. Naomba unisikilize taratibu. I want you to listen to me carefully. Naomba unisikilize taratibu. I urge that you listen to me carefully. Wote wawili, mtumwa na balozi, the two people, the ambassador and the slave, wote wamechaguliwa. All of them have been chosen. Lakini mtumwa amechaguliwa kutoka kwenye soko la watumwa na master mbaya but the slave was picked from a slave market by a, a bad master lakini huyu balozi anachaguliwa na mfalme wa nchi anayotoka but, na yeye ndiye anamtuma but the ambassador is picked by the king of the country where he comes from and the king sends him forth the samtuma inawezekana akifika kwenye ile nchi yeye yeye anatamani Yeah it can happen that when the slave gets to the country where he would desire kwamba awe raia wa ile nchi aliyopo. Then he may become a citizen of the country where he has gone. Anatamani awe raia wa ile nchi aliyopo. He would desire to be a citizen of the new country where La, he is. Lakini mf, mf, balosi but the ambassador Anatamani aendelee kuwa raia wa nchi aliyotoka. He desires to continue being a citizen of the sending country. Kwa hiyo mtumwa anaweza akafanya chochote. So the slave can do anything. Kujipendekeza kwa wenyeji wa ile nchi to appeal to the citizens of the country where he is. Ili wamfikirie that they may consider him kwamba awe raia wa ile nchi. To become a citizen of that country. Kwa nini? Why? kwa sababu anafurahia maisha ya kule kuliko nchi aliyotoka because he is enjoying the life of this country where he is a slave than his native country na huyu mtumwa anaona aibu kueleza mambo ya nchi yake and the slave is ashamed to explain of his country, the issues of his country lakini balos but the ambassador yeye yuko pale kueleza mazuri ya nchi yake na kuficha mabaya ya nchi yake. He is there to tell of the goodness of his country kwa, and to cover the bad things of his country. Kwa sababu anajivunia nchi aliyotoka kuliko nchi aliyopo. Because he is proud of his country than the country where he is. Kwenye mawazo yake hawazi hata siku moja awe raia wa ile nchi. In his mind he would never ever consider to be a citizen of the country where he is. Lakini mtumwa Sikira siku anawaza nifanyeje kama yuko nchi ya Marekani nifanyeje nipate green card. But the slave will be always thinking for example even the US thinking daily what can I do to get a green card and settle here. Mtumwa yuko pale kwa ajili ya matatizo yake. The slave is there because of, of his is or her problems. Lakini balozi yeye ametumwa kwa ajili ya matatizo ya nchi aliyotoka. But the ambassador is sent because of the troubles and issues of the country that send him. Mtumwa siku zote anaweza akaongea negative kuhusu nchi yake. Uh, the slave will always be in a position to speak negatively about his country. Lakini balosi hata siku moja utamsikia akisema kinyume na nchi yake. But the ambassador will never ever speak negatively about his country. Nisikilize asubuhi ya leo. Listen to me this morning. Kabla balozi hajapelekwa kwenye hiyo nchi. Before the ambassador is taken to the country where he should represent his country. Ambayo anatakiwa kupelekwa. Where he is supposed to be taken. Huwa ana, anakalishwa anapewa seminar. He is sat down and is taught. Anafundishwa He is taught namna ya kuvaa how to dress namna ya kutembea how to walk namna ya kuongea how to speak nani cha kuto kusema what he should not say mazingira gani asiende what environment not to go 
kitu gani asile what not to eat kitu gani asinywe what not to drink kwa sababu yeye ni balozi because he is an ambassador anawakilisha he is representing mfalme aliyempeleka the king who send him na ufalme uliompeleka the kingdom that send him nisikilize asubuhi leo listen to me this morning biblia inasema the bible says mtu akiwa ndani ya kristo one is in christ amekuwa kiumbe kipya yes and he has become a new creation maana yake meaning yesu ana sema Jesus is saying Sio sisi tulio mchagua It is not us who chose him Lakini yeye ndiye ametuchagua It is him who chose us Alafu akatutuma duniani And he sent us to the world Ili twende that we may go tukazae matunda and we bear fruit Na matunda yakishakaa And when the fruit is remain Ili chochote tukiombacho Whatever we pray Aweze kutupatia He will give to us Nisikilize asubuhi leo Listen to me this morning Ninapokuangalia asubuhi leo I look at you this morning na kuona kama vile I look at you like Rais anavyomchagua balozi akamkalisha akamfundisha akamtuma nisikilize siko position nyingi duniani ambazo watu hufanya kampeni ili wapate hizo nafasi lakini wakipata hizo nafasi ziko limited kwenye maeneo fulani lakini balozi afanyi kampeni does not campaign ana, anatazamwa na mfalme mfalme anamkubali anamchagua nisikilize ingelikuwa ni kampeni akina sisi tusingechaguliwa wa masai wasingechaguliwa lakini mfalme wa mfalme ninataka nikwambie yeye uchagua kuliko watu tunavyochagua ndio maana alimwacha Eliabu akamchagua Daudi maana yeye atazami kibinadamu anakuchua kabla hujaingia tumboni mwa mama yako amekuchagua kwa mapenzi yake si kwa sababu unafaa si kwa sababu ni msomi si kwa sababu una pesa amemwacha wenye heshima na hekima amevichagua vinyonge ili aviheshimishe asubuhi ya leo ninazungumza na mabalozi ninazungumza na mabalozi ninazungumza na mabalozi sio nchi hii ya Kenya kuwakilisha Kenya Marekani sio mabalozi wa Kenya kuwakilisha Kenya Uingereza lakini ni mabalozi wa mfalme wa wafalme wote ukiweka maraisi yeye ndio rais wao unapotaja masimba yeye ni simba wa kabila la yuda jina lake anaitwa Mungu pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe wako maraisi hawana heshima ulionayo kwa nini isikilize rais wa marekani aweze akaitisha chochote bingu ikashusha lakini wewe lakini wewe masai ulioko hapa leo biblia inasema chochote utakachokifunga duniani na mbingu itafunga na mbingu itafunga na mbingu itafunga haleluya Haleluya. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. Neighbor. You are an ambassador of Jesus Christ. You are an ambassador of Jesus Christ. Listen to me this morning. Listen to me this morning. God is telling you this morning. You are here on this world for the purpose. You are not here by accident. I wanna tell you this morning God is needing you Lord God is needing you Lord God is needing you Lord. Oh, Hallelujah 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 When you speak the even is spoken in you Hallelujah Pigia Yesu makofi mengi na makofi mazuri Kachi ni kachi You can take your seat please Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Listen to me. 
Sifamu sana hapa Kenya. I don't understand well the, the Kenya. Lakini kule Tanzania. But back in Tanzania. Kila mwaka mabalozi wote wanakusanywa. Every year all our bazaars are called together. Wanaletwa pamoja. And they are brought together. Wanakalishwa. They are sat down. Wanaonywa juu ya makosa waliyofanya. They are warned of the mistakes they did. Wanatiwa moyo juu ya mema waliyofanya. They are encouraged on the good things they did. Wanarekebishwa mahali walipofanya makosa. They are corrected where they they messed up. Ili wakirudi wafanye bora zaidi. Now when they go back they will be better. Mis- Sikilize. Listen to me. Ndani ya makusanyiko yao. In their meetings, utakosea sana ukiwaita waheshimiwa. You will make a mistake to call them honorables. Lakini unatakiwa waite waheshimiwa sana, excellence. Ah, uh, unahitaji kuwaita waheshimiwa sana. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa nini? Why? Kwa sababu hadhi yao. Because their, their status ni kubwa kuliko ya my MPs. Is bigger than of an MP. Kwa sababu MP because a, ne- a member of parliament mbunge ana 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 anatawala eneo dogo a member of parliament has only control over his constituency lakini balozi but the ambassador katika nchi aliyopo in the country where he is ni sawa na rais aliyemtuma is he go to the president who send him nisikilize asubuhi leo listen to me this morning nisikilize asubuhi leo listen to me this morning nimekuwa nikiangalia wiki tumekaa hapa i've been looking at this week we are seated here binafsi nimebadilisha mwendo wangu wa kutembea and i've changed the way i i walk nilikuja ninatembea namna hii i came walking like this lakini baada ya kugundua but after discovery am an ambassador mimi ni balozi nimebadilisha namna ya kutembea i to walk Hallelujah. 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 Nimebadilisha namna ya kuvaa. I change the way I dress. Nimevaa kama balozi. I'm dressed as a ba- an ambassador. Kama balozi. As an ambassador. Ninayowakilisha mbingu. I represent. Ninawakilisha mbingu. I represent the heaven. Injili vijijini. Hallelujah. 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 Nisikilize. Listen to me. Mabalozi wakiwa wamekaa. When ambassadors are seated. Wanaonywa sana. They are warned strictly. Kwa sababu kosa lake moja. Because one mistake. Linadhalilisha nchi nzima. Brings di- disgrace to the entire nation. Kazi ya balozi ni mbili tu. The work of an ambassador is on two things. Kazi ya kwanza. Number one. Ni muwakilishi. He is a representative. Kazi ya pili. Number two ni mpatanishi is a reconciler mm. to reconcile means kupatanisha inamaanisha we have been together tumekuwa pamoja but something happened lakini jambo likatokea and separated us na likatutenganisha Now we are coming again together. Sasa tunarudiana pamoja. Jesus reconciled us unto God. Yesu alitupatanisha tena na Mungu. Not not I unto God. Si mimi kwa na Mungu. Because God is the one who was looking for us. Maana ni Mungu alikuwa anakitutafuta. We 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 were lost it. Sisi tulikuwa tumepotea. But God reconciled us to him lakini mungu akatupatanisha naye yeye ndiye alikuja kututafuta he came to look for us kwa sababu yeye anatuhitaji sana kuliko sisi tunavyomhitaji he needs us more than we need him nisikilize listen to me mungu aliumia sana god was hurt alipompotesa when he lost Adam na Eva kwenye bustani. Adam and Eve in the garden. Ndio maana sisi tumeanzisha mipango ya dini. That's why we've started denominations. Lakini Mungu ameanzisha mpango wa wokovu. But God started a plan of salvation. Kwa hiyo mpango wa wokovu, the plan of salvation, it is not man made. Haujapangwa na mwanadamu. It is God's plan. Ni mpango wa Mungu. The world must be saved. Ulimwengu lazima uokoe. Whether you like Like or not upende usipende salvation is unavoidable wokovu hauziwiliki vinginevyo jehanamu inakuhusu uh, otherwise you go to hell haijalishi unasali dini gani it, kanisa gani it doesn't matter your religion your church hii ndio task kubwa tulionayo he's the greatest task we've been given kupatanisha ulimwengu na yeye aliyetutuma to reconcile the world with him who sent us kupatanisha ulimwengu na yeye aliyetutuma to reconcile the world with him who sent us nisikilize listen to me nisikilize listen to me nisikilize listen to me nisikilize listen to me unapopatanisha watu na 
maana yeye aliyekutuma when you reconcile people to him that sent you maana yake Mungu anafurahi balozi unafanya lililo jema means god rejoices over that which was kama matokeo if the result ha chochote unachohitaji of all that you need hautapungukiwa you will not lose hautapungukiwa you will not come kama so. unafikiri natania if you think i'm, I'm joking muulize balozi ask the ambassador kama huwa anawaza if he ever thinks asubuhi ni vai suti gani which suit will i put on in the morning kwa nini why iko budget there is a budget kutoka kwenye nchi yake from his country ambayo inapangwa that is planned inaingizwa katikati ya mshahara wake and he put it in, in his salary yeye akihitaji suti mara nyingine hata aende dukani yuko mtu amelipwa tayari ili akanunue suti ili achague suti kulingana na tukio lililopo hawazi avai nini biblia inasema kwa sababu nyinyi ni mabalozi nyinyi ni mabalozi usijiulize ile nini ninywe nini kwa sababu yeye aliyekutuma anajishughulisha sana na mambo yako anajishughulisha sana na mambo yako fanya kazi uliyoitiwa simama kama balozi simama kama balozi bila kujali hali unayopitia bila kujali hali unayopitia Usishughulike ule nini? Uvae nini? Yeye ata provide. Because you are there. Not by yourself. Kwa ajili ya yeye. Wewe ni mwakilishi. Wewe ni mwakilishi. Wewe ni mwakilishi. Paul alienda mbali sana akasema kwa sababu hiyo sio mimi ninaishi. Sio mimi ninaishi. Ukiniona ninaishi. Basi ni Kristo anaishi ndani yangu. Sema amina. Hallelujah. 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 Pigia Yesu makofi na ingia. Shika mkono jirani yako mwambie you are an ambassador. Take the hand of your neighbor and tell them you are an ambassador. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sema amina. Amen. Sema amina. Amen. Kongamano kama hili, a conference like this, kama sio la mabalozi, unless it is for ambassadors. Reverend ungeshapata kesi kwamba kuna mtu amechukua sabuni yangu ameogea. Kwa hiyo unaletewa kesi. Reverend will be handling cases like somebody I I had a bar of soap here somebody has taken it and I need I need it sorted. Ungeshapata kesi ya kwamba kuna mtu ameminya dawa yangu ya mswaki bila kuniomba ruksa. People you you be so, so, solving cases somebody has used my toothpaste without my permission. Kama sio kongamano la mabalozi. Except it is a gathering of ambassadors. Ungeona washiriki. You see members. Yuko na kijiti cha kutolea nyama kwenye meno anatembea nacho humu barabara with a toothpick walking uh, someone walking with a toothpick in his mouth lakini nimeangalia kila mtu amekaa kibalozi but i've looked at everybody they are seated as ambassadors excuse <laughs> listen to me kiwango unachojikadiria ni chini sana kuliko Mungu anavyokukadiria the way you see yourself is below the standard that god has set for you niseme na maraisi wasikie let me speak and let presidents hear wewe ni mkubwa kuliko rais wa marekani you are greater than the american president kwa sababu aliyemuumba yule rais because he who created that president is the one you represent na kuna mambo anasubiri useme and there are things he's waiting that he may that he may do nisikilize listen to me wewe unaweza ukasema you may say kwa sababu 1 2 3 because of reason 1 2 3 rais wewe ninakuondoa president i take you out of the city 
and I am positioning this one in the place. And heaven will, will do it. Inasema, the Bible says, chochote, whatever duniani, you bind the air on earth, heaven will bind it. Heaven will bind Nisikirize, Listen to me. Elia alijielewa, Elijah understood na who he was. Nafasi yake. And he understood his anasema position. Hivi. He says this. Anasema hivi. This is what he says. Mbingu wa itanyesha, there will be no rain Kwa miaka mitatu na miezi sita. For three years and six months. Isipokuwa kwa neno langu. Unless I speak. Manaki ya muombi mungu. He is not praying to God. Kwa sababu wa mejiwa na fasi yake. Because he knows his position. Ya kwamba ni metumwa. That I have been sent. Na ni mepewa authority zote. Na I have all the authority. Nikisema. When I speak. Ni mbingu imesema. It is heaven that has spoken. Nikifunga. When I bind. Ni mbingu imefunga. It is heaven that has bound. Kwa yelia na poongea. So when Elijah is speaking. Anajua na company ya mbingu. He knows he has the backing of heaven. Nisikirize. Listen to me. Barozi alala miki mafuto ya mepanda. The ambassador does not complain the, the, the kwa price sababu of fuel. Because there is no his concern. Anajua ajazae mafuta atajaza. He knows whoever fuels will fuel. Balozi ya wazi usafiri atakao tumia. He doesn't consider what to use for transport. Kama ujafika. If it is not there. Anachofanya anainua simu. What he does is to lift his phone. Anasema njamani. He says, hey, huku niliko, where I am, I need a bigger car than the one I need. Because the way this is generally looks, is it, na mimi kama mwakilishi wa nchi yetu ili iwe na heshima sawa sawa so, na dhira ambavyo inatakiwa so ninahitaji gari i need a car ni muda tu nisikilize nisikilize ni muda tu just a while chochote ulichoitisha whatever you have asked chochote ulichoitisha whatever you have asked bingu iko in on the process wana anaachilia wana anaachilia Balozi akimbizani na baraka Baraka zina mkimbiza Zina muovateki Na kumpata Wanini Yeye ni mtu mkubwa Siwa kusumbuliwa Na beiza mafuta Nisikilize Ulusi wapigane vita Ukraine wapigane vita Maisha ya balozi mimi Yatabaki intact Hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is it crazy? Listen to me. Balozi ana shida. An ambassador has no problem. Akiumwa yeye. When he is sick. Watoto wakiumwa. If the children are sick. Anajua tu. He knows a person. Ninayo be my afya. I have a, a health cover. Imelipiwa kabisa. It is completely paid. Nikumpa mtu kadi mtoto wako nenda. You just give the, the child a card. Go. He, he checked. If it doesn't work where he is, he's transferred to another hospital. Because he is a representative and a reconciler. Listen to me. We've sat here for all week as ambassadors. There are things you you missed. Kupitia walimu waliosimama. Gone through the teachers who stood. Kuna mahali umekemewa. There is a place you've been rebuked. Kuna mahali umerekebishwa. There is a place you've been corrected. Kuna mahali umetiwa moyo. There is a place you've been encouraged. Kile ambacho wameambiwa acha. Whatever you've been told to leave. Please, please, please. Tafadhali, tafadhali, tafadhali. Acha. Leave it. Acha. Leave it. Acha. Leave it. Acha. Leave it. Nisikilize. Listen to me. Ukiona mtu amefika mahali. If you see a person who has come to a place. Dhambi yake imewekwa wazi kwa watu wote. And their sin is exposed openly to everybody. Ambaye na level ya kwako ya kiambasada. Ya yeah, at a level as an ambassador. Maana yake Mungu amemrekebisha kimya kimya amekataa kurekebika. It, it means that God has corrected that person silently and they've not been obedient. Lakini ukirekebishwa ukaitikia. But when you are reproved and you accept the reproof, hautaibishwa wewe ni barozi. You will not be ashamed as an ambassador. Maana aibu yako because your shame ni aibu ya nchi nzima. Is is a, is a shame to the whole nation. Nisikilize. Listen to me. Ninaongea na mabalozi. I'm talking to ambassadors. Kama ulikuwa ujui, if you did not know, mimi sikuchukulii poa. I don't take you good 
for granted. I don't take you for granted, sir. I don't take you for granted. I see you a great person. More than you see yourself. Even if I don't see you like that. Bingu, the heaven doesn't consider you the way you consider yourself. Considers you a, a place you don't even think. Mungu anakuheshimu sana. God honors you. Kwa sababu wewe unamwakilisha. Because you are representing him. Na unafanya kazi kubwa. And you're doing a great work. Ya upatanishi. To reconcile. Ya upatanishi. Reconciliation. Excuse me. Listen to me. Nilipokataa kuhubiri injili. When I refused to preach the gospel. Mungu aliniambia kwa sababu umekataa. God told me because you've refused. Ni sawa na mti usio na matunda. Duniani. You are like a tree that bears no fruit on it. It's wasting even the the the, the soil. Na mti wote usio zaa matunda. And any tree that giveth no fruit. Biblia inasema shoga shoka limekwisha kuwekwa kwenye shina. The Bible says the axe is set at, at the tree tree's bottom. Ili liweze kukatwa. The, the tree is cut. Lakini ukiona tumekuwa spared but you see that we've been spared. Mungu anatupa nafasi nyingine. God is giving us another chance. Ya kurekebisha makosa. That we correct ourselves. Kule Tanzania nisikilize. In Tanzania listen to me. Balozi akipelekwa kwenye nchi. When an ambassador is sent to a nation, akaanza kusema kinyume na nchi iliyompeleka. And begins to speak against the sending nation. Akaanza kutenda yale ambayo kama balozi aruhusiwi. And begins to do things he is not allowed to do as an ambassador. Anakuta amelala amelala kwenye mtalo amelewa chakali. They find him in, in, in sleeping on, on the trenches drunkard. Nchi inachofanya. What the nation does inamtumia mtu kwenda kumuonya they send somebody to warn him ikishindikana inamrudisha nyumbani if it doesn't uh, 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 appeal then he is brought back home nisikilize listen to me it is a promise of god ni ahadi ya mungu to live 70 years up to 120 years on this earth kush miaka 70 mpaka 120 ekarika ulimwangu huu it depend on how you believe and how you behave inategemea unaamini vipi unaishi vipi lakini nisikilize but listen to me wako watu kwa sababu kadhaa za kulinda heshima ya ufalme uliotupeleka there are certain people because of taking care of the honor of the kingdom that sent us unachukuliwa kama balozi unarudishwa nyumbani you are taken as an ambassador back home kwa ajili ya heshima ya ufalme that the, that the kingdom may keep its honor Listen to me this morning. Listen to me this morning. According to my time I want to close. I want to close. But listen to me. Maybe you are an ambassador. But you are in a situation. You are give, you have given up. I want to tell you. The heaven that sent you inasubiri simu yako is waiting your call upige simu uambie make a call and tell them kile unachopitia what you're going through biblia inasema the bible says yeremia pamoja na kwamba alikuwa nabii jeremiah together with being a prophet lakini kuna wakati alijikuta akiwa kwenye uanda this a time if himself in the valley in the garrison of of gods akajikuta kwenye courtyard of found, gods he found himself in the courtyard of the gods biblia inasema pamoja na mazingira yuko amezungukwa na walinzi the bible says even though he was in the courtyard and surrounded by gods lakini alibaki ni mwaminifu but he remained faithful katika wito aliopewa in the call that was given sijui unachopitia sasa i don't know what you're going through now inawezekana ni mchungaji it may be your pastor wewe ni mwakilishi you are a representative na mpatanishi and a reconciler pamoja na gereza ulilomo together with the prison where you are usiache don't leave usiache don't leave usiache don't leave kazi hizo mbili peke yake those two jobs only nenda nje go out patanisha dunia na kristo reconcile the world with christ ishi kama representative live like a representative uwe mwakilishi representative 
Usiseme ya kwako, sema ya kwake unayemwakilisha. Don't say about yourself, say about him that sent you. Una hela ubiri Yesu anaweza kutajirisha. Don't you don't have money preach that God can make one rich. Ni mgonjwa usibadilishe message ulionayo. Don't change your message. Waambie watu Yesu bado ni Jehovah Rafa. Tell, tell them God is Jehovah Rafa. Kwa nini? Why? Ata Paulo even Paul alikuwa na mwiba. Arathon. Asubuhi leo mimi sijui. This morning I don't know. Mwiba wako ni nini? What is your thorn? Nini kinakutesa? What is buffeting you? Umewahi kufika mahali ukawaza kuacha utumishi? Have you come to a place that you want to resign from ministry? Kama hujafika hapo. If you never come to that place. Bado una safari ndefu kwenda. You still have a long way to go. Bado una safari ndefu. Still have a long way to go. Unafika mahali uoni mbele? You come to a place you don't see Yuma anything. Unasongwa. At the back they are pushing you. Kulia umebanwa. You are pressed every side. Wachungaji wengi tunajua kuatia watu moyo. Many pastors we know how to encourage people. Lakini hatuna watu wa kututia moyo. But we have no one to encourage us. Kwenye makongamano kama haya. In conferences like this one. Tunatiana moyo. We encourage one another. Sahau yote ambayo tumesema. Forget everything we've said. Lakini chukua hili. But pick this one. Songa mbele. Go forward. Songa mbele. Go forward. Songa mbele. Go forward. Never 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 give up. Kama kama usije kata tamaa. Katika shida yoyote. In all troubles. Never. Kamwe. And never. Eh, na kamwe. Never give up. Usikate tamaa. Nisikilize nimalizie na ushuhuda huu. Listen as I finish with this testimony. Miaka miwili imepita sasa. 2 years ago now. Nilifika mahali nimesongwa kila kona. I came to a place and I was pressed from every side. Majaribu kwenye familia. Trials in the family. Majaribu kanisani. Trials in the church. Majaribu kwenye huduma. Trials in the ministry. Kila mahali. Everywhere. Biblia inasema majaribu uja kama jeshi. The Bible says troubles come like an army. Nilifika mahali. I came to a point. Jumapili moja nilisimama kanisani. One Sunday I stood in the church. Nikahubiri and I preached. Nikamaliza. I finished. Lakini siku kadhaa nyuma. But a few days before, nilienda nikafunga na kuomba. I went and fasted and prayed. Nilikuwa naomba kitu kigumu. I was praying a hard thing. Nikamwambia Mungu, I told God, take me back home. Nirudishe nyumbani because I don't see the future. Maana sioni kesho. Nitaibisha ufalme ulionituma. I will shame the kingdom that sent me kill, forth. Kill me God. Niua Mungu if you can. Kama unaweza. Maana sioni mbele. Maana I don't see anything forward. Mahali pa kutiwa moyo. A place of encouragement. Yule ni dhani atanitia moyo. The one I thought will Dia encourage me. Is the one who's breaking my heart. Tunalia mara nyingine machozi hayaonekani. We cry sometimes tears are not visible. Kilio chako ni nini mchana wa leo? What is your cry today? Usisahau yeye anakuobserve. Don't forget that he's watching over you. Aliyekutuma anajua unachofanya na kile unachopitia. Knows what you're doing and what you're going through. Nisikilize. Listen to me. Nikasimama. I stood. Nikasema. I said. Leo kanisa ninawaaga. Church I want to bid you by today. Maana Mungu alianza kuni, kuniambia sasa kweli kwa sababu umeamua twende. Because God began to tell me because we've decided let's go. Sasa alipoanza kunionyesha ninaondoka. When he began to reveal to me that I'm leaving. Nikaanza kutengua kauli. I began to change my decision. Nisikilize. Listen to me. Unaweza ukapita kwenye mazingira ukatamani ufe. You can go through a situation that you desire to die. Lakini kifo kikikaribia utakimbia mwenyewe. But when death approaches you you begin to run. Mungu akaniambia neno gumu. God told me something that is hard. Akasema, he said, kwa sababu majaribu mengi yaliyokatisha tamaa yanatoka kwa hawa. Because these people are brought you to a place that were giving up. Majaribu tu kubwa lilikuwa hili ni sema tu. And this was the, was the greatest trial. Wanataka nihubiri kile ninachotaka sio kile Mungu anataka. They want me to preach what they want or I want not what God sent me to preach. Nikamwambia Mungu sasa kama hivyo I said God if this is the case I'm not representing you Mimi naongea kile unanipa I speak what you give me Mhubiri mmoja rafiki yangu akaniambia One preacher friend of mine told me The church is like a market Makanisa yale soko Samani kanisa ni kama soko So so 
supply what the market needs. So peana ama uza kile soko inahitaji. Don't you preach the message that God gives you Usubiri, to what people they need. Usijumbe, usubiri ujumbe ambao Mungu anakupa, ubiri ujumbe ambao watu wanahitaji. Ile ndio siku tuliachana. That was the our departure. Na mambo yalikuwa magumu kuanzia pale. And from that day things became hard. Alikuwa ni mtu ambaye ametoa ukumbi mkubwa kama huu. He was someone ibada bure. A big hall like this that we, we do our services free. Analipia nyumba yangu nayokaa. He was paying my house where I was living. Analipia shule ya mtoto wangu. He was paying for the fees for my ch- child. Nikamwambia leo kwisha bali. I say today is the end. Wezi amini. You can believe. Alibadilisha dokumenti zote nilitoka bila chochote. He changed all the documents I left with nothing. Akaenda kwa landlord wangu. He, he went to the landlord. Akamwambia kuanzia leo mchungaji huyu sitamlipia. He said from, from today I'm not paying for this pastor kick him out. Nakumbuka tulifukuzwa tumekaa barabarani kama pale. We have been chased out we was living by the roadside. Nimewacha mke wangu tumefunga mizigo tumeweka hapo nje hatujui tunaenda wapi. We live with my wife we we, we bind our, our things we leave them there we don't know where Nika we go. Nikaondoka nje kidogo ya Dar. I left I, I went a little bit out, outside Dar es Salaam. Nikafika nikamkuta Muislamu mmoja anamaliza kujenga I found a Muslim finishing building his house. Nyumba nzuri kupita zote kwenye mtaa ule. A nice house the best house in that street. Ikamsalimia naye akaniambia salamu aleikum. I greeted him he said salamu aleikum. Akani nikamwambia mzee ninahitaji nyumba. I said sir I need this house. Sina hela. I don't have money. Lakini Mungu aliyenituma ni naye. But God who sent me I have him. Nisikilize. Listen to me. Ule mzee akaniambia sikuwa na mpango wa kuipangisha. The, the man said I did not plan to rent it out. Lakini kwa kuwa swaiba wangu umekuja. But because my friend you've come. Nita itakupangisha I will render it to you ila bei itaja mwenyewe but give me your price <laughs> yani unapewa kisu alafu ujichinje mwenyewe give me the knife to slaughter yourself kwa kweli nilinoa kisu changu vizuri i i sharpened my knife well alafu nikamgeuzia mwenyewe and i turned it to him nikakata kichwa and i i i, I decapitated him nilitaja bei ya chumba kimoja i gave him a kulipia nyumba nzima of one room for all okay kwa sababu naona inakaa yenyewe sawa swaiba wangu ka i say ah it's okay just just muislamu okay. akatumiwa na jehova hallelujah used by god sema amina amen iskrize mshara wako hauko kwa wale unaowatumikia mshara wako uko kwa yeye aliyekupeleka yeye yote atakama kununulia suti hata kama amekununulia suti siku akileta za kuleta va suti yake mtenge nayo haleluya i told my wife we've got in a house msikilize watumishi wa mungu listen to me servants of god my fellow men mungu amekuita god has called you mungu Mke wako ni kweli anamwangalia Mungu. Your wife is looking to God, yes. Lakini ukweli, but the truth, anakuangalia wewe pia. He is looking at you. She is looking at you so too. Kwa hiyo kila siku, so every day, tubadilishe mtazamo wa wake zetu. Let's change the focus of our wives. Uliko kututazama, that, that unless instead of looking at devil unafanya hivi. You, you lift your chin. Na watoto unakuwa unashika videvu. And then you lift the chin of your kids. Tazame yeye look unto him aliyeanzisha who began kiwango iko nyumbani anapiga simu anasema baba sasa mbona umetuweka hapa my wife is in, in the house is saying she's calling and saying you've left us here tukatoka pale we left there tukaenda maisha ya kanza we went and began life tulikaa kwa miaka miwili we lived there for two years unalipa 10000 nyumba nzima ya Tanzania 10000 Tanzanian can shillings aikwa rais it was not easy watu wako wajui People did not know. Iskrize, sina kanisa. Listen to me, I don't have a church. Afika mahali sasa nikaweka test and applies hapa niende kufanya engineering. I took my my test and my pliers 
in, in my pocket back to the field the, the way peter went back to his neck i went back Nikaenda site kila mahali natafuta. I went to different sites looking for job. Hakuna kazi. Zamani nilipata sasa hata. No work that came forth. Before then I used to get gas part. Even a little fish nothing. Eskirize. Lakini Mungu ni mwaminifu. But God is faithful. Mungu ni mwaminifu. God is faithful. Mungu ni mwaminifu. God is faithful. Nakumbuka ilifika mahali. I remember it came to a point. Ilifika mahali. Came to a point. Miezi mwaka mzima tujala nyama. A whole year we've not had meat. Siku moja akaingia ndege mdogo. One day a little bird came to the house. Kandege kadogo. A small bird. Binti yangu na mke wangu. My daughter and my wife. Ukasema dadi funga mlango. Dadi close the door. We we have to catch this meat. Na mimi nikamwambia fungeni kazi na iweza. I told them shut the door I am able to do this. Nikakimbizana na kale ka ndege. I ran after the little bird. Mungu saidia kakaingia mkononi mwangu. God help me it it fell in my hands. Kwa kweli sikukaelekeza kibla. When the Muslim was floating Uh, wakati wa, wa, special direction. Uh, wakati waislamu wanachinja kuna mahali fulani wanaelekeza. Ni kibla. Kibla. Sasa mimi sikukaelekeza kibla. I did not show uh, uh, Jerusalem. Oh Jerusalem. Lakini nihakikisha natoa shingo yake. But I, I, I twisted the neck. Tukakakaanga. We fried. Tukakaa pale tule. We sat down to eat. Nikala kapaja ka kwanza. I ate the first piece. Nisikia mama na mke wangu sema dadi unatumalizia. I had my daughter and my, my wife saying you're finishing for us. Nikamwambia okay malizieni. I told them take take like, care of the rest. Ah mwiko pale. Because I have a, it, it's sweet it, his appetite. Excuse me. Listen to me. Nakumbuka. I remember. Nilisema juzi. I said the other day. Upako mwingi. Much anointing. Hauko kwenye maombi. It's not in prayer. Hauko kwenye kufunga. It's not in fasting. Hauko kwenye kusoma Biblia na kulala nayo. It's not in reading the Bible and sleeping yes, on it. Yesu alipomaliza hayo wote manne mlimani. When Jesus finished all that. Nilichofuatia ni jaribu. Try or came after him. Akaja mjaribu mlimani. The, the tempter came on the mountain. Nisikilize barozi uliyokuwa hapa. Listen to me about the who sitted here. Utapita mahali ambapo utakuwa na mtu. You go through a place you be alone. Utabaki mwenyewe kama uko Patmo. You be alone like in Patmo. Hapo ndipo mahali ambapo Mungu jifunua. And that's where God reveals himself. Pale ndipo Mungu achilia maono. That's where God releases vision. Ambaye hakuna uwezaye kuzuia. None can withstand. Hakuna uwezaye kuzuia. None can withstand. Nimemuona Mungu ni mwaminifu. God is faithful. Nikisema ni mwaminifu. He says faithful. Ninajua aliponitoa. I know where. Nimelala na njaa. Nimeteseka. Nimekuwa uchi. Hiki ndio kinanifanya. Ninapoona watumishi wenye dhiki. Ninashindwa kujizuia. Ninashindwa kujizuia. Jipe moyo Bwana aliyekuita. Anajua alipokutoa. Ukizimia wewe. Wako watu wengi. Wako watu wengi nyuma yako. Nakumbuka siku moja. I remember one day. Tumekasa sita na dakika tano. We seated uh, minutes past, past Wiki moja nimempa mke wangu mihogo akauze. One day a, a week a whole week I've given my, my wife cassava to sell. Amekaa sokoni. She has started the market. Sayo kwa sababu hatutoki ndani amekuwa mzungu mara mbili. Because we we are we are all always inside she's like a mzungu ni mzuri lakini sasa akazidisha mara mbili a beauty has increased sasa yeye ana ameweka mihogo ili watu wanunue she has, she's displaying cassava to sell wanamwambia wewe mama umekuja kutupeleleza tu hapa nani sokoni they saying ah no you you're, you're just here to investigate us you're, you're not selling mke wangu ana aibu kufanya biashara um, sorry huwa ana aibu mke wangu she's not ashamed of, of doing business paka leo unaweza ukamkuta ameweka nani pala anauza chochote today she can sell anything outside there amekaa pala anajaribu kufanya biashara she sat there trying to do hawana kitu wananunua people look at how they are buying nothing miogo yote tukarudisha nyumbani we brought all the cassava back home mtu aliyetupatia 
the one who gave us anasema nyinyi wajinga hatamjui biashara sema you foolish you don't know business sasa niingize mkono mfukoni mwa mtu nitoe ili anunue sasa we lay for somebody to to buy lakini nikikaa nakumbuka Mungu aliniambia when i sat i remember, remember god told me nitakubariki katika utumishi sio kingine unachofanya i will bless you in ministry not anything else you do nisikilize listen to me lazima ujue you must know umeitwa kama paulo are you called as paul umeitwa kama elia are, are you called as elijah elia alika elijah sasa mungu alimpelekea kunguru and na mwanamke mjane and a widow lakini paulo alisuka mema but paul maintained akahubiri injili and he preached the gospel inategemea umeitwaje vile ulivyo usuguso ya mwenzi wako wacha vile ameitwa afanye kila anaitwa ndio maana nisikilize kulingana na historia zetu na wito wetu nikisimama mimi akisimama mwingine utafikiri tunapingana lakini the message the same yeye aliyetuleta mwenye kongamano hili tukuonye tukufundishe na kukuelekeza yeye anajua kitu gani unachohitaji haleluya nakumbuka saa 6 na dakika 5 remember 5 minutes past 12 kwa wangu na watoto wananiambia sasa my wife and kids say daddy tunafanyaje daddy what are we going to do excuse listen to me hakuna mazingira magumu there is no difficult situation hakuna mazingira magumu there is no difficult situation hakuna mazingira magumu there is no difficult situation kama mwanaume like, like a man ukosa pesa ya kuweka kitu mezani missing being without money to place bread Una, on the table unaweza ukajikuta unaongea sauti ya kike you can find yourself mwanaume. talking with with a, with a lady's voice yani unataka ufanywe <laughs> Unawekaje besi ujiweka chochote mezani? Oh, how do you how do you talk with your deep voice and there's nothing on the table? Ukisikia mtu wa uongo anauza mafuta na maji, issue iko hapo. You hear people selling water and oil. That's what the problem. Wako nao wagonjwa wanapona lakini akiondoka akuachi chochote. You have uh, the anointing you, you people are getting healed and they leave you with nothing. Unaona sasa upako sinao, hii sabuni nitakuzia. You say uh, I have no thing, I'll sell this up to you. Umepishana naye. Uh, you, 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 you have digressed God. Nisikilize. Listen to me. Sitakani kasahau. I will not forget. Nimekaa kwenye radio nasikiliza ndugu yangu mmoja anahubiri. I'm sitting I'm listening to one of my my brothers preaching and the radio. Anataja jina langu kwa ubaya. And he spoke badly about me. Niko napita mahali pagumu. I'm going through difficult times. Lakini mtumishi mwenzangu, but my fellow servant, ambaye nidhani ataongea positive kunitia moyo. Why thought I will speak positively to encourage. Nasikia anataja jina kabisa. He is still calling my name. Watu wote wanajua Roy Kiza alifanya moja mbili tatu. And the people know Roy Kiza has done ABCD. Vitu ambavyo asikufanya. Things that I have not done. Washirika wake wananiambia bwana nenda umjibu na wewe. Uh, my members are saying go respond to him. Mungu ananiambia. God is telling me. Ha- Uwezi ukajisafisha. You cannot wash yourself. Mimi ndio naweza kukusafisha. It is me who can clean you. Wakati umetupiwa matope. When they throw mud on kabla you. Kabla kauka, it, it, it Ukifuta badala ya kuyaondoa unajipaka. Uh, when you, when you wipe it you smear it on the kimya. So keep quiet. Mungu alichofanya. What God did. Mungu alichofanya. What God did. Mshirika anakuja na fungu kubwa la, la kumi. A tithe, uh, uh, a member brings a big tithe. Kwenye hilo hilo kanisa ambalo mchungaji wake anamsema from, uh, uh, from the church where the pastor is talking about Rikisa. Amefika pale. He gets there. Sauti ya kusikika anasema kama hivi. As uh, they hear a voice. Anamwambia usitoe hapo. Don't give here. Peleka kwa kamanda yangu ambassador ana chakula. Take to my commander. Pitia na mchele, nunua na nyama. Buy rice, buy ili watumie maana ni watumishi wangu. Haleluya. Kwa miezi sita. Nilirishwa na kunguru. I was fed toka madhabahu zile zile zinazosema vibaya leo niko hapa kwa sababu jehova anajua alichonitia anajua alichonitia haleluya na mwaka jana mwaka jana last year mwaka jana last year mshirika wake one of his members amekuja na milioni 
came with 8 million nimekaa ofisini kwangu i'm seated in my office yawai kumwombea akatoka pepo i have never rebuked a demon from him i've not prayed anything over them ajui tulipishana na mchungaji wake he doesn't have know the conflict we had with his pastor anasema but he said mungu ameniambia god told me mungu ameniambia god told me nikuletee hela ya kununua gari i bring you money to for a car i bring you money for a car ametoa ile pesa pale ofisini milioni 8 dola nimezibadilisha kwa ile ya Tanzania dola give me dollars worth 8 million Tanzanian shillings akatoa zile dola naona mke wangu analia pull out the dollars my wife began to shed tears ikamwambia Mungu i say to god this is not the car of my vision He is gari ya maono yangu. I am a preacher of the village. Ninafikiri ya mke wangu. I think this belongs to my wife. Nikamshukuru nikamwombea. I thanked him and prayed for him. Nisikilize. Listen to me. Miezi kadhaa baadaye tunafanya sherehe ya miaka 25 ya ndoa yangu. A few days a few weeks after we we are celebrating 25 years of marriage. Nimempa zawadi ya gari mke wangu. I gave my wife a car. Mimi ni maskini lakini jeuri. Poor but wrong. Wewe <laughs> unajua aliyeniita. I know who called me. Sema amina. Say amen. Eh, hey, yani ukijielewa. When you know yourself, utajiamini. You believe in yourself. Ukijiamini. When you believe in yourself, Mungu atakuamini. God will believe you. Mshika jirani yako mwambie ambassador stand on your feet. Um, mshika mwanzako mkono mwambie balozi simama kwa miguu yako. <laughs> oh hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So you've been in the training as ambassadors. Tumekuwa kwa mafundisho kama mabalozi. So fanya kila ambacho Mungu amekwambia. Do what the Lord has told you. Kiona baruzi amerudi nyumbani. When you see an an ambassador come back home ame retire he is retired ama ameharibu or he has messed up his work iko na msikiliza mzee kitonga was listening at bishop kitonga alinipeleka miaka mingi nyuma sana he took me back many years alikuwa akija Tanzania na ubiri na mzee Kulola sisi tunakaa nyuma tunaangalia He used to come to Tanzania preach with uh, Bishop Moses Kulola and we would sit far and watch Wakihubiri habari za Yesu kuja when they were preaching about the coming of Jesus Mimi nilikuwa naamka saa 8 usiku naangalia kama Yesu ajaje uh, I was waking up at 2 in the morning and see if Jesus has, has come or not Mzee Kulola ameondoka Yesu ajaje uh, Kulola slept and Christ has not, has not yet come Ninawaza kwa sauti. I'm thinking loudly. Inawezekana na sisi wote tutaondoka Yesu ajarudi. It may be all of us will leave and Christ will not have come. Ask me why. Niulize kwa nini? Ishara ya mwisho ya kumleta Yesu. The last sign to bring Jesus. Ishara ya mwisho ya kumleta Yesu. The last sign to bring Christ. Injili lazima ihubiriwe ulimwengu mzima. The gospel must be preached all ndipo, over. Ndipo ule mwisho utakuja. That the end may come. Kama ujaenda vijijini, if you've not gone to the villages, ujui kinachosema. You don't know what I'm saying. Ndio maana kila nikijaribu kujizuia. That's when, every time I try to hold myself. Nakuta siwezi kuacha kwenda. I found I cannot stop going. Madhabahu yoyote kubwa ama ndogo. An altar big or small. Nitaimiza watu twende vijijini. I will encourage people that we go back to the villages. Uwezi kwenda peleka watu. You can't go send people. Kwa nini? Why? Kuna mahali nimeenda. There's a place I went. Unamuuliza mtu unamjua Yesu? You ask somebody do you know Jesus? Anakuuliza hii ni Coca-Cola nyingine? He asks you is it another brand of Coca-Cola? Ama Mirinda? Or is it Mirinda? Hajui kabisa habari ya jina la Yesu. They don't know nothing about the name of Jesus. Ninaumia sana. It hurts me kama Coca-Cola imefika vijiji vya ndani wanaijua if Coca-Cola has gone to the deepest parts of the villages lakini kwa idadi hii Kenya hii unaweza ukaenda vijiji alafu ukakuta wajui wanafikiri Yesu ni Coca-Cola nyingine 
But with the, with a gathering like this we can go to deep villages in Kenya and find they don't know about the name of Jesus. Hii ndio sababu ya Yesu hawezi kuja haraka. That's the first thing that tells me Jesus will not come so quickly. Wanini anataka mhukumu kila mtu kwa haki. He, wa- he wants to judge everyone by justice. Kwa kokoka ni jambo jingine ila kusikia habari za wokovu ni jambo la lazima. To be saved is one thing but to re- hear the voice that speaks of salvation is a different thing. Sababu ya pili inayonishawishi kwamba Yesu arudi leo. The second thing that tells me Jesus is not coming now. Sababu ya pili ni hii. This is the second thing. Kuna namna kanisa. There is a way the church. Yesu akiangalia wakuja kuchukua. When Jesus is looking to come and rapture. Haoni. He doesn't see. Haoni. He doesn't see. Haoni. He doesn't see. How ni? He doesn't see. Madhabahu nyingi ni biashara. Men altars is about business. Mimi Mungu amenipa neema. God has given me grace. Ya miujiza kubwa. Oh big kubwa. miracles, big kubwa. miracles. Kubwa. Big kubwa. miracles. E naomba na simu mtu anapona Marekani kansa, naomba na simu mtu anapona. I pray over over the phone, phone people are healed in America. Maiti inafufuka mikoa ya mbali. Uh, people are raised from far na nikianza kuhubiri miujiza kanisani when i begin to preach miracles in the church wiki mbili ya tatu kanisa two, two weeks the third the church will be full kianza kufundisha neno kama hivi when i begin to teach the word this way watu hawapo there are no people hawataki neno they don't want the word wanataka ya kwao they want to receive their Lakini own lakini tuko hapa kumwakilisha yeye but we are here to represent him reconcile watu kwake to reconcile people to him Ninaomba niseme hivi. I want to say this. Kanisa tujiandae. Church, let's prepare Kanisa ourselves. Kanisa tujiandae. Let's prepare ourselves. Yesu anaweza asije sasa. Maybe Christ won't come. Lakini wewe unaweza ukaenda. But you may go. Any time. Wakati wa wote. 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 Mungu anaweza akachukua. God can pick. Kwa hiyo unapomtumikia Mungu. So as you serve God, tumika huko ukijiangalia. Serve considering yourself. Nikiwa kijana mdogo wa miaka 20, was a young man of 20 years. Nilienda mlimani nikiwa nimefunga na kuomba siku nne. I went to the mountain praying fasting for four days. Lakini ule mlima nilikuta mzee mmoja ananiambia mimi niko huku siku ya 20. When I went there I found a man who told me I am here this is my 20th day. Anasema nitakwenda siku 40. He told me I'm, I would do 40. Akili yangu ilikataa na sijawahi kufanyaga hivyo mimi. My my mind shut and I've never done 40. Asa kama una neema hiyo endelea. If you have that grace continue. Usiguse ya kwetu. Uh, don't bother with us. Mimi na ujanja wangu wote kama ni kavu tano. Uh, if I can do dry I dry I do five. Lakini neema ya Bwana inatosha. But the grace of God is sufficient. Yule mzee aliniambia neno moja. This man told me one thing. Akaniambia kijana. He told me young man. Sikufahamu sana. I don't know you so much. Lakini kwa age yako. But at your age. Kama unaweza kuja huku peke yako. If you can come here by your own. matangazo ya vijana. It's not an announcement for young people. Kwamba kwenye chama wametangaza. That in the group they have announced. Lakini umekuja kwa sababu wewe umeamua kumtafuta Mungu. But you came because you decided to Wewe ni mtumishi wa Mungu mkubwa. You're a great servant of God. Akanipa ushuhuda mmoja nilishangaa. Give me a testimony that Akasema hivi jana kuamkia leo. He said the night be the night before roho yangu iliondoka my heart left me nikaenda juu mbinguni and i went up to heaven nikaona mbingu imefunguka i saw heaven open nikaona kiti cha enzi i saw the throne na pembeni kiti alichokalia yesu and on the side the sacred he left it amesimama kwenye mlango wa kutokea He's standing on the edge of kuja duniani coming to the earth anasema hivi he saying this mungu akaniambia go say to me yule mzee anasema the man is akaniambia saying, yesu yuko mlangoni Jesus is at the door. Yuko tayari kuja kuchukua kanisa. He's ready to come for the church. Lakini wale wanaotakiwa kuchukuliwa. Those who should be raptured. Hawako tayari. Are not ready. Akasema ukiweza. He said if you are able. Waambie. Tell them. Ya kwamba Yesu. God the Jesus. Yuko mlangoni. Is at the gate. Anasubiri kanisa. He's waiting for the church. Liandaliwe. To be prepared. Liandaliwe. To be prepared. Nirudishwe tena. To be brought back. To be reconciled. Back to the original ili kifika hapo likaondoa mawazo ya magari ya majumba ya utajiri ikifika hapo Yesu ataona bibi harusi yuko tayari Bwana harusi anakuja 
Bwana harusi anakuja. Bwana harusi anakuja. Kila jicho litamwona. Kila ulimi utakiri. Ni ya kwamba yeye ni Bwana. Kwa utukufu wa Mungu. Wewe kama balozi. Nenda mashariki. Nenda vijijini. Nenda mijini. Usinyamaze kwenye masoko. Usinyamaze kwenye masoko. Leo hii. Leo hii. Mabasi yamejaa. Wafanya biashara Wafanya biashara Ile njiri liyo ubiriwa Kwenye masoko na michiji Iko api sasa Mabalozi tuinuke Summit inaisha Lakini sisi Tumetengenezu wa tena Tumetengenezu wa tena Tumetengenezu wa tena Kwa wakati mwingine tena Higia Yesu makofi mengine shamu Lift up your hands before the Lord. Praise Him, praise Him. Wakati wana imba, as they sing, utazungumza na Mungu wako. Speak to your God. Kwa position hiyo. In this position. As an ambassador. As kama balozi. Mungu akuinue tena. That God may raise you again. Ili uweze. That you may be able. Ili uweze. That you may be able. Kurudia tena. To revert back. Kazi ambayo umekuwa umepewa. The work that was given to you. Ya urejesho na upatanishi. To reconcile and, 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 and restore. Put your hands on his chest. Lay your hands on his chest. I don't know what you're going through. But God is telling me that I may encourage you. Breakthrough yako imefika. Your breakthrough has come. Tukapotoka kwenye kongamano hili. As you leave this conference. Karekebisha ya kurekebisha. Correct what needs to be corrected. Ukaendelea na yale yaliyo mema. Continue with the good. Muujiza wako huko mbali. Your miracle is not far from. Muujiza wako huko mbali. Your miracle is not far from. Hata kama even if kwa makosa yako by your mistake bingu ilitaka ikurudishe heaven wanted to bring you back home wana nakupa tena miaka mingine the lord is giving you a new season mungu wana kuongezea miaka the lord is harding you years ya utumishi to serve watenda kazi ni wachache if you are the liberals watenda kazi ni wachache if you are the liberals watenda kazi ni wachache liberals are few inajua mko wengi i know you are many here ambao unapita kwenye changamoto they are going through challenges unapita kwenye changamoto going through challenges lakini imani ya balozi but the faith of an ambassador Barozi awazi chochote Kwamba atasovu mwenyewe kwa nguvu zake Yeye akitaka chakula Anajua alie mtuma atampa Yeye akitaka mavazi Anajua alie mtuma atampa Yeye akitaji matibabu Anajua alie mtuma atampa Hata kama ni mgonchwa 
I want to tell you. Fanya cha Mungu. Do what belongs to God. God will heal. Bwana atakuponya. 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 God will heal. Wewe unaisema bishop ninaomba maombi yako. I'm saying bishop I'm praying you prayer. Nimefika mahali. I've come to a place. Ninapita mahali pagumu sana. Come through a difficult moment. Wale nilidhani watanitia moyo. I thought you will encourage me. Wananivunja moyo. Those who should encourage me are breaking up. Ya muda inua mkono wako pale pale nataka nikuombe. Because of time lift up your hand I want to pray for you. Mkono wako, inua mkono Just lift up your hand I want to pray for you. Baba. Father. Baba. Father. Ninakuamini. I believe you. Juu ya watumishi wako hawa. Over your people. Kile wanachopitia. What they are going through. Shetani alikusudia. The devil de- desired desired. Awamalize kabla ya kongamano hili. Finish them before this summit. Lakini kwa neema yako Mungu. By your grace oh God. Umewalinda na kuwasaidia. You have kept and protected them. Bila ulivyo nisaidia. As you helped me. Naomba uwasaidie. Pray that we help them. Wako ambao wanafukuzwa kwenye nyumba. Uh, those who being chased off the houses. Wako ambao hawana pesa ya kula. There are those who do not cannot provide their Wako ambao wana mavazi. There are those who cannot provide their dress. Wako ambao hajui kesho ya huduma yao iko. There are those who don't know what will happen to the ministry. Lakini ni wewe uliyowaita. But you who call them. Baba tumia. Father use changamoto hiyo. This challenge. Tumia changamoto hiyo. Use this challenge. Kuwapaka mafuta. To anoint them. Kuwapaka mafuta. To anoint them. Ili watakaposimama. When they stand. Mbele ya wengine wenye changamoto. Those are us. Baba ikawe na nguvu ya kuwavusha. They'll be grace to Kwa neema yako Mungu mwenye uwezo. Ninatamka baraka. Juu ya kila barosi. Atakapofanya. Kile umemwitia. Bwana umeachilia. Roya upatanishi. Roya upatanishi. Roya upatanishi. Iwe juu ya kila mmoja. Kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa in the name of Wape Jesus. kuona mavuno. Give them to see up. Yaliyo mengi. Might harvest. Yanayosea. That are great. Rika sikaranda. Lo bako sikaranda remekalia. Baba inua wazungu. Raise them Lord. Inua wa Afrika. Raise them the, the white people and raise the African. Watakao kwenda miji na vijiji. Or we'll go cities and villages. Ili kufika mahali ambapo to get the place. Utarejea upesi. Where you come back quickly. Utarejea upesi. 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 You come back quickly. Walinde mabalos. Keep the ambassadors. Wanaifanya huduma yako. Who are serving you. Kwa uaminifu. Be faithful. Baba ninawaacha mkutano huu. Father lead this marriage. Amen. Kwa dakika moja mwambie Bwana ni asante. Mwambie Bwana ni asante kwa sababu ya huduma. Just tell the Lord thank you for that one. Mwambie Bwana ni asante kwa sababu ya huduma. Mwambie Bwana ni asante kwa sababu hiyo neno. Mwambie Bwana ni asante for the ministry. So tell the Lord thank you. Tell the Lord thank you, tell the Lord thank you. Tell the Lord thank you. Bwana tunasema ni asante. Uibidiwe na uiduliwe. Tunasema ni asante Bwana. Be glorified. We bless you and we say thank you for everything for your ministration. Thank you for your word, Lord. We receive it. We receive your message. And I pray that you may cause us to put it to practice to the glory and honor of your name. Is it in Jesus name we do pray and believe and everybody shout amen. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen and amen. We are blessed in Jesus name. Give your neighbor a high five. Appreciate them all be hapo hapo. Amen and amen. We are very much on time. We are very much on time. We are blessed. Hallelujah. By the way, one of our guest ministers, Barbara, our dear sister Barbara is in the house. Hallelujah. Wapi makofi yake? Amen. God bless you. Uh, she'll be ministering to us. She'll be leading us shortly in Jesus' name. So we want to have a brief break. Uh, Takuwa na break kidogo. Kama ya daka kumi hivya la fumurudi tafadhali. Na si lazima uende. Sawa sawa. Si lazima uende tafadhali. Si lazima uende inje. If you feel that you don't need to go out but you're having a break of like uh, between 5 to 10 minutes. Na itakuwa ni ya baraka. Na kabla uende kuna, kuna sibu hapa. 
Kuna simu iko hapa imepotea tafadhali imepotea haijapotea imepatikana. <laughs> Kuna simu ijapotea imepatikana labda ni yako na unashindwa iko wapi. So we have your phone. Uh, ukikuja tutaipoza utupatie pin ndio tujue ni yako. Oh ame ah mom you're blessed. Hallelujah. You're blessed. God bless you so much. Wapi makofi ya mom? God bless you. Ni yako kweli? Confirm kama ni yako. Sawa sawa we are confirming hakuna shida. Uh, they will confirm kama ni yake. Simu zinafanana. God bless you so much. So we are breaking for a brief a couple of minutes then we'll be back in Jesus name. But si lazima uende as our worship team also.